<laughs> I've had my fair share of nightmares as well. Hey, oh, you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> oh, 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 fuck. His name is Agazira. You're back again. I'm surprised you haven't been put off this case yet. This experience is getting full on. I had a feeling it was a murder case more than a suicide thing. That was proven correct. We found out so much. Bobby Yale is the biggest suspect right now, but we've got bigger problems on our hands because Desmond O'Leary, that Irish fox that we've kind of learnt about gradually over the last few episodes. We've been forced into the backseat of his car and his goons are following us. Um, I don't know whether this is a hostage situation. I don't know whether we're about to find out some information that could be prudent to the case. But at any rate, it's time to get this episode underway. So let's cut to the chase. I need Bobby Yale to fight Stone. There's just too much money at stake. So... I'm offering you my help to find Yale. Let's work together. No, I don't want to take you up on that. I, I work solo. I work, I work best alone. I always work alone. You know, if everyone worked solo, many people would suffer. Look at me. I could go it alone, but I don't. Please, hear me out. Let's say I bet a beer that we find Yale in three days, and you bet a beer that we don't. In three days, one of us has to buy the other a beer. Is that so bad? We're simply two grown men using our money and free will to conduct a small private exchange. That's, that's still gambling. We're not hurting anyone. It's a game of chance. So, yeah, I run a gambling business. What's so bad about that? Um, it's illegal. For starters, it's immoral as well, but it's more so illegal. It's illegal for starters. Illegal? It's like Black Sad is Let in me my tell head. You what should be illegal. The way our government is ruining America. We live in a so called free country, a place where honest people can make a living, provided they don't hurt anybody. We're not communists. Well, at least I'm not. I would have never thought otherwise. As for me, I'm no commie either. I'm definitely no sympathizer. Ah, well then, you see, we're all among friends. In any case, that's not my point. The government betrays our nation's values by passing communist laws that forbid an honest man like me to make a living without hurting a soul. And that, Mr. Black Sad, is just wrong. I'd even say it's unconstitutional. Do you get my point now? Doesn't does just doesn't justify is what I was just about to say. It doesn't justify okay, what you do. But that doesn't justify what you do for a living. Oh boy. Did you hear anything I just said? Doesn't anyway, justify. Fuck when me. When the government passes these laws, there's only one legitimate weapon the people can wield. The same weapon that turned America into a great nation. Civil disobedience. So, as the proud American that I am, it's my duty to disobey. You're bending the truth, sir. Right in front of my eyes. I don't trust this guy one bit. You're bending the truth to justify organized crime. Oh, no. It might have been organized crime, but not anymore. I wasn't always a boss, you know. No, sir. I started at the bottom when Lucky Blitzen ran the show. That good for nothing. His Lucky Blitzen sounds like a reindeer to me. Extortion, violence, you know, that sort of unpleasant. When I took over, I decided I'd make people want to do my bidding. Not out of fear, but out of gratitude. I decided to help people so they would help me. That beating your thugs gave me was really helpful. Thank you so much. Ah, ah, ah. Those poor bastards didn't even know you were a detective. That you were on our side. Oh, Eugene knew. Maybe at first. But when they tied me up and beat the socks off me, they knew very well who I was. Seriously? That goes against my rules. Who was it? Oh, it was it was just Wilson the Buffalo. Fuck you, Wilson. Jam that up your ass. Wilson. That bastard. Don't you worry. 
I will have a serious talk with him. I cannot tolerate this behavior. Please, accept my apologies, Mr. Blacksad. You see, a lot of people work for me. Many families depend on my business. Not only that, St. Christopher's Hospice practically lives on my donations. The widows of my late employees are set for life. Their kids get free schooling. The cops leave me alone because they know my business doesn't hurt anyone. On the contrary. And, ah, it looks like we're here. He's your typical mob boss. Takes care of his own, like, family, but you don't <laughs> want to double cross him. Side. Go ahead, search the place. I'll wait down I here. still don't trust him. When you're done, maybe you'll change your mind and share your findings with me. Or not. It's your call, Mr. Blacksad. I'll make sure you're suitably compensated. Wilson, come here. Yeah, Wilson. Your boss wants to talk to you for a minute. Buffalo Bill bastard, I hope he smacks you upside your big fat fucking head. But at least now we get to have a look inside Bobby Yale's apartment. The worst thing about O'Leary's boys dropping by isn't the beating, but the fact that I can't tell what's theirs and what's Yale's. Doesn't seem like the best food for a boxer. Then again, it could be your classic bookie thug lunch. Well, I mean, they were staking the place out, so it makes sense. We're just going to have a look at everything we can. Oh, hang on, is that Mary? Hmm. Hmm. Mary went to Luna Park. Hey, there's a Luna Park here in Australia. Mary went to Luna Park with Yale. That bitch just keeps getting shadier and shadier by the minute. She knows way more than what she's letting on. One boring old lady. Caution, enter at my own risk. Oh, it's a bathroom. Is there anything in here? Judging by the general state of the apartment, they were leading a quiet life. Can, can I... Thank you. That's a nice painting. The inner workings of a tortured mind. The Sicilian Capo. So, you like your mob stories, don't you, Bobby? feel like I'm in the middle of a mob story right now. Avenarius, the poet boxer. Besides the tendency to vanish into thin air, of course. Nice chain. Very nice chain. Woof woof. That made it look like it was the bedside table that the ex appeared on. A little bit finicky, but it's okay. Let's check the cupboard. Why would you want such a big closet for so few clothes? Someone's taken the clothes. Maybe. Unless someone emptied it recently. Which means Bobby's been here and he's made a little bit of a collection. Avenarius, complete Cup poems. One of three. Do you know any of his relatives? Is his father ever, ever Avenarius? Avenarius? The boxer poet? Didn't he disappear 20 years ago? <sighs> got some dirty ass dishes up here in the sink. And we got another collector card.
Is that everything? What's in his fridge? I'm not sure how Yale's love of pickles will help me crack the case, but it's good to know. It's not really good to know. Oh, do you see what's hanging up on there on that wall? A woman's fragrance. Almost angelic. Mary said she lost her scarf recently. Maybe because Bobby Yale was taking her to Pound Town, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Pound Take her to the pound because he's a dog. Did you, you get it? Mary has a cold. There's a scarf at Yale's place. Oh, no, Mary went to Luna Park. Which all points to one deduction, ladies and gentlemen. Been here recently, but why? Mary Purnell's a shady bitch. What does sweet Mary have to do with Yale, the murder suspect? Is that everything? I don't think there's anything else in here that we can check out. I think we've done the lot. Leave avoid Leary. Is that the only option we have? Alright, let's do it. When I left, I told O'Leary I hadn't found a thing. The minute I was alone, I left for Mary's. We left for Mary's alright. But before that bitch is gonna that, tell me what's up. A small parting gift for her. What's wrong, Mary? I've never trusted angels. But itchy knows. I think she knows Mr. what's Black's up. Mr. Black's hat? What a surprise! Surprise! <laughs> He's in my head. It's like we're the same person. When they fall, they turn into demons. Joey told me he was going to spend the afternoon painting the gym and that Bobby would be fixing something up on the roof. So, after I found the body and called the police, I went to Bobby's place, but he wasn't there. Likely story. How'd you open the door to the apartment, Mary? How did you open the door to his apartment? I think it was already open. You think or you know? Everything is so confusing. I'm sorry, Mr. No, Black's I've had enough of this story, Mary. Don't Stop you. stringing me on. I'm here to figure it all out. What's your relationship with Bobby Yale? He was like a son to Joey, and we were about to get married, so, you know. Ah, uh, son okay. by association. I think it's time to set things straight. Were you cheating on Dunn? I think that's the best uh, I question. I you were cheating on Dunn with Yale. Or was it the other way around? No. How can you even think of something like that? How can you convince me otherwise? I found a picture at Yale's apartment. It's you and him on a roller coaster. Care to explain, Miss Purnell? I'm not white, Mr. Black said. You look white to me! What? Seven of my great-grandparents were She's as were pale white. as my bare ass. The eighth was black. According to law, I'm a black citizen, even if my skin says the contrary. Do you know what that means when you're born in North Arlington, Alabama? Uh, segregated schools is what I'm going to go with. Segregated schools and a worse education for colored children. We even have different water fountains, for God's sake. The separate but equal doctrine and all that that crap because black said straight up he don't give a shit that crap and all the lies that's why i moved here no one knows what color my great grandparents were you're not the only black person i mean have a look at black said i'm black too and i don't hide it well at least you're a man in any case what's that have to do with here we Bobby go not Yale. just playing the race card but she's playing the uh, gender Mr. card Black's as well said. Joe and I first started oh. taking care of poor Bobby when my sister died. That was when he was almost 15. I don't know whether you heard that because I'm getting a little bit too loud. The but three uh, of us went on that trip to Luna Park. She's Bobby Yale's auntie. So this is where Joe Dunn comes in. Bobby was the only one who knew about me and Joey. We were afraid that someone would use my past to ruin his career. 
It's not the first time I hear that story. Well, I am better apologize for accusing her of cheating, considering I'm sorry it's her I nephew. Accused you so lightly. Don't worry, I understand. Can we make any uh, any findings around here? What's in the box? Femininity starts at home. Isn't that sweet? Obviously something on the radio. TV and radio all in one. Where will these mad times lead us? Oh, you think that's crazy? You should see what's going on now. The kids with all their iPhones and their iPods. And their cassette players. Let me have a sniff. Mary smells like... Actually, the whole room smells like a pie fresh out of the oven. So I can't identify any other fragrances. Was that a deliberate play? To try and cover my sense of smell? What else am I supposed to be looking for here? I think that there's... It says there's one more thing to smell, but, uh... I don't smell what the rock is cooking. That cherry pie sure smells good, though. I think if we get rid of the cherry pie, that we might be able to sniff some things so out. Good. I'm Literally. Get hungry. Thanks. I pulled it out of the oven right before you arrived. Oh, oh, oh happily have a slice. My manners? I'm the worst hostess in the world. We're gonna have some of Mary's pie, if you know what I'm kitchen. saying. And you must be thirsty. Uh, let me see. OJ, coffee? I'll have some coffee. I'll take some coffee, thanks. Thank you. She's wearing the same clothes in both pictures, so she's probably telling the truth. Got me another collector card. The only other thing to do is head for the door, apparently. Looks like that's what we're doing. Going to help you with that? Sorry, I was going to help you with that. I'm going to help by eating that whole pie and then try to sniff out what's going on in this goddamn house. Alright. He, he's no kidding. He's going to just put that whole fucking pie away, isn't he? Can we sniff anything now? I wonder. Now that there's almost no pie left... The scent has also disappeared. Interesting. Now Mary smells like a huge dog. Just lies with this woman. Mary, when are you going to stop lying? I know your nephew is here. I can smell him. What? No. I already told you I don't know where he is. I can sniff him. Look, I understand why you're protecting him. But it's in his best interest to end this hide-and-seek. You can search the whole house if you want. Go ahead. Oh, I'll, I'll turn here. this bitch upside down. Don't you worry about that.
Look, if he's making you do this, just tell me. I'll protect you. Bobby would never do that. Oh, I can sniff something else out now. Wait a minute. She's not the one who smells like that. Oh, hang on. He's fucking hiding. That's where Bobby Yale's scent is coming from. He's hiding in the box. So, that's why you were sitting there. What? I don't know what you're talking about. You know exactly what I'm yes, fucking talking about. Could you step aside so I can check, please? <sighs> please go. And Mary. For Christ's sake, put that knife down, would you? Put it down you before you hurt yourself. We need you to calm down. Mary, please, calm down. I mean it. I don't want to hurt you. Leave my alone! Oh, that was well timed. You big bastard. I gotta dodge his punches. Dodge and weave. Am I, am I zooming in on this tray? Okay, that didn't work. I'm assuming I've got to zoom in on the tray, right? Did I grab it? Oh, fuck off. I grabbed that. And now I'm too high. Oh my god, just grab the fucking tray, please! One eternity later. Thank fuck. I feel like an action hero. Think about Mary. Think about Mary, Bobby. Don't even mention her name. Some roid rage or some shit going on. Oh, fuck. He's just had a heart attack. Bobby! Call an ambulance. Do as I say. Go on, call an ambulance. Do it now. In the face of a heart attack, there's two things you can't forget. Is his heart still beating? One, stay calm. Two, one chest compression per second. Hey One guys, welcome to CPR Lessons with Argod Zero. Two Mississippi. Where I have no Three idea what the fuck I'm doing. Four Mississippi. Five Mississippi. Six Mississippi. Seven Mississippi. Eight Mississippi. We saved his life! Bobby, oh, Give me a medal! Thank you, Bobby. Bobby fucked me up! That sequence where I had to try and grab that board to stop him from punching. I can't tell you how long that fucking went down and how many punches he got in. I'm being serious. I had lots of reasons to consider this a great day. I had investigated a suicide case. I had discovered that, in truth, we were dealing with a murder. I had found and This all happened in one day? Suspect. Well, and I had saved a life. Black Sad's a better than t detective. I was about to call him a detective. 
He's a better than... Fuck, I did it again. Better detective than what I thought. And yet, everything in me screamed that something was going wrong. Hmm. Terribly wrong. The plot thickens. But at any rate, we worked out it's a murder. We've got the prime suspect in hospital, so... Promise me, Promise you me. won't take the law into your own hands. I'd like to think we're not just vigilantes. I want a gun! What the hell? Bang, bang, bang! A fair amount of violence exhausts Someone's having a nightmare. Casualty. I hate I detectives. Hate detectives. I've had my fair share of nightmares as well. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> oh, 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 fuck. That you, Smirnoff? You seem agitated. Nightmare? Have I been <sighs> sleeping long? How long have I been sleeping? I just got here. Anyway, why don't you go home? In his current condition, Yale's not going anywhere. Besides, we'll take it from here. Can we trust that guy? Who? Trust who? Who is that? Can we trust him? Can we trust that old dog? I know how to pick my men, John. You? I'm not so sure. I asked you not to get involved, or at least give me a heads up. I didn't make any promises. Do you remember me making any promises, ladies and gentlemen? Because I fucking didn't. I didn't make any promises. Well, then I can't promise I'll give you any more information. Might have just screwed the pooch quite literally there. Anyway, what's done is done. Black Sad's got a light. Not the best lighter in the world, but it works. When... When exactly did you realize that he killed Dunn? When did I realize he killed Dunn? You'll find out in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, because this is where this one comes to a close. Thank you for joining me, as always. The plot's thickening really, really well here, and, uh... I'm digging what's going down. If you guys have been digging what's going down, hit that like button down below. It goes a long way to supporting myself, and I cannot thank you guys enough for all that support. If you happen to be new to the channel, plenty of other content to check out. I urge you to do so. And if you enjoy what I'm throwing down, hit that subscribe button down below. Pledge your allegiance to the God Zero Nation. Over 1,000 members strong. And that's all because of you guys. Thank you all so much. In the description down below, not only will you find the Black Sad Under the Skin playlist so you can catch up on any episodes you might have missed along the way, you'll also find links to my social media accounts. If you don't follow me on things like Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram yet, go ahead and do so. There's also a link to my Discord server, so if you want to join that, more than welcome. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here, and as always, I will catch you guys next time.